this inspiration is such a vital virtue to possess in life. How does this inspiration come about? One man was a factory worker. He had the evening shift from 4 to 12. At 4, he would go walking to the factory, which was about 3 miles away. It would take him almost an hour. And at midnight, when the shift got over, he would walk back. Now again, by the time he reached home, it would be 1 a.m. There was a graveyard on the way between his house and the factory. One day he decided to take a shortcut. He walked through the graveyard. It saved him all of 25 minutes. And nothing untoward happened. Although he walked through a graveyard, no ghost came to scare him and no spirits embraced him and all the superstitions that he had heard, it was all right. No risk. So he decided to do it every day. And every day he was saving 25 minutes as he was walking from his factory to his house via the graveyard. It became a habit for him. One day unknown to him, a new grave had been dug on the path itself. It was half dug, the pit was there seven feet deep. Now at night when he got out of his office to walk, it was a moonless night and also starless because of the clouds. Nevertheless, he had become familiar with his path, so he was casually walking, relishing the night breeze, and all of a sudden, plop, he fell right into the grave. Seven feet deep pit. He tried to claw his way out but found it very difficult because the height was so much and he didn't have the strength in his arms. So he decided, all right, let me relax here. Nothing is going to happen. No ghost is going to scare me. So he sat down on the other side of the grave. About 20 minutes went by, a drunkard was walking along the same path. Now, whatever else drinks do, they obviously destroy the intellect. And apart from that, the darkness of the environment on that night. So the drunkard's chance of discovering the new grave was close to zero. He was walking. And all of a sudden, thaw. the drunkard came to his senses and he realized that he had fallen into this grave. He was trying to scramble out, but he was also not succeeding. And this man sitting on the other side of the grave was looking at the drunkard trying to get out, realizing it's an exercise in futility. So he came back. Now the drunkard doesn't know there's anybody else in the graveyard, particularly in this grave. He thinks I'm the only one I'm trying to get out. And all of a sudden this man came from the back. His intention was not to scare him but to help him. He patted him on the back, my dear friend. It is no use, you cannot get out. <laughs> When this drunkard heard, I cannot get out, somebody is threatening me, he put in his extra effort. Suddenly, he became so motivated, he jumped out. <laughs> you see, he found some motivation inside him to do the impossible. So, it's not that 
somebody is always demotivated now some parents complain swami ji my children don't have motivation how do you say that look i always tell them that you should study for so many hours they are not motivated right but when the football game starts then see how motivated they are factory manager says that my workers are not motivated but see how enthusiastically they leave the factory on friday evenings they are highly motivated so it's a question of striking the right enthusiasm chords within us in other words motivation is an art and to ignite this inspiration in someone is one of the best things you can do to them one of our devotees was telling me swami ji my subordinate is not performing well so i am thinking of dismissing him firing him out i said before you fire him out try firing him up motivate him and see what happens he did that and he found the whole behavior changed so when there is this scope of motivating ourselves and even motivating others then it is a science worthy of learning and a science worthy of practicing implementing and cultivating for our own benefit for success in this life and beyond what then is the science of motivating how do you get motivated